On tonight, the company that operates the drop tower ride where a teen fell to his death tells News 6 it was following all safety measures. It comes as News 6 investigates the operation manuals of the Orlando Freefall drop tower ride and other nearby rides. News 6 investigator Maris Badcock joins us now live in studio tonight with more. Maris? Well, the manuals, which are hundreds of pages, were produced by the manufacturer of the ride, Funtime Thrill Rides, an overseas company based in Austria. And tonight, we found the Drop Tower Ride isn't the only ride they have running in Florida. As investigators try to figure out how a teen fell to his death at the Orlando Freefall Ride in Icon Park, News 6 has learned the manufacturer of the ride, Funtime Thrill Rides, has at least a dozen amusement rides in Florida, including a slingshot ride and star flyer at Magical Midway in Orlando, a slingshot and vomitron at Old Town in Kissimmee, and another slingshot and vomitron at Screamers Park in Daytona Beach. Not only do these rides have the same manufacturer, they're all owned, operated, or advertised by the same Florida-based company, Slingshot Group. There's prices for the individual rides, there's combos for the different rides. Owner and CEO Richie Armstrong discussed the Orlando Freefall and another ride at Icon Park Orlando Slingshot during January's grand opening. No, there's no weight limits. It's uh, just the minimum height. The minimum height on the slingshot is 44 inches. The minimum height on the drops on the free fall is 50 inches. There is no minimum age and there's no minimum weight. And there's no maximum weight. But the operation manual for Orlando Freefall says there is a maximum weight, 130 kilograms or 286 pounds. The teen who died, Tyree Sampson, weighed over 300 pounds, according to multiple sources. But according to state law, the max weight was never posted at Orlando Freefall because the operation manual didn't require it. News 6 found, however, that the operation manual did require Orlando Freefall's owners to post signage warning large or small people who are not supposed to ride if they don't fit in the seat, something Armstrong acknowledged at the grand opening. If you fit safely into the seat and the harness is secure, there's smart pieces of equipment, there's sensors on them. None of these operating systems will work unless the seats are engaged. Um, and so if you fit safely into the seat, then you ride. Our investigative team did not see signs warning large or small people at the entrance of the ride. In a statement, Mr. Armstrong's attorney told News 6, Orlando Eagle Drop and Orlando Slingshot strictly followed all protocols, procedures, and safety measures provided to us by the manufacturer of the ride. We look forward to working with the Florida legislature to implement change in the industry as the safety of our patrons is where everything begins always. Our investigative team decided to check the manuals for the two fun time thrill rides closest to Orlando Freefall, which are also owned by Armstrong and Slingshot Group. At Orlando Slingshot in Icon Park, owners followed the manual's protocol by posting the minimum height requirements. But the manual also required signage for maintenance mode procedures, something we did not see at the entrance of the ride. At Orlando Starflyer, just outside Icon Park, owners again posted the minimum height requirements. But the manual also required signage about emergency operation procedures, something we did not see at the entrance of that ride. We visited the three rides within the week following the accident. While the drop tower ride Orlando Freefall did have a weight restriction in its manual, Orlando Slingshot and Orlando Starflyer did not have a weight restriction in their manuals. Funtime Thrill Rides has not responded to our request for comment since Tyree Sampson's death. At Icon Park, state investigators have closed Orlando Freefall for their investigation, and Orlando Slingshot has been voluntarily suspended by the Slingshot Group. Back to you. Maris yeah. Badcock, thank you.